Hi, it's Charlie. Welcome back to Patrick Hill Station. Um, this is just a Friday night running of uh, some trains. Uh, hopefully you'll see something that you like here, uh, a little bit different. Anyway, let's have a look. Now, I know this is not prototypical. That's an LMER A4 pulling a variety of British Railways X LNER uh, and a variety of uh, years of the composite coaches that were produced. Um, it may have run at that in the very early days uh, of the breakup of the big four, um, but you can just imagine it. Busy time at the station, people waiting to board, freight to be delivered. And if you take a close look here, you'll see where I've added in uh, the straps at the joints of the uh, lens of creased panels there. I cut tiny strips of the aluminum foil and bent them into shape and then placed them appropriately. That's my Anderson shelter. Many people had those in their backyards in the UK uh, during the Second World War. And I made that out of heavy duty tin foil and shaped into corrugated paneling.
There's Billy waiting for his date. I don't think she's showing up tonight, Billy. That's a subway station uh, provided by Kingsway Models. Uh, you cut it out, apply it to card, and then fold it and glue it together. Looks quite good. Just doing some experimentation here with uh, scenery. Uh, this here is a piece of pink foam that I cut into the shape of a wall. And these small trees are actually flowers from our garden. Uh, I built this little wagon, uh, to an existing uh, frame and, and built up the side walls and added in the bike so I thought that was a nice little addition and of course this came from the Hornby uh, club it was a giveaway and my uh, oil diesel uh, tank that's also a scratch build that was built from a piece of cardboard tubing and I put odds and ends and pieces of pipe and the retaining wall just made out of foam core covered with uh, brick paper. Uh, it's a 3D uh, printed skip and here's some of my 3D printed uh, oil drums. Um, there's a piece of tin foil. It's a heavy duty type uh, that you have to <clears throat> uh, press out all the stiffening sections uh, to get it flat and then I cut it to size and rolled it up. And that's the beginnings of my scrapyard. I haven't really gotten to it recently. And there's some more of those skips that I printed out. And of course, uh, there are my relay boxes. Now, it's interesting to know it. If you can see this, I tried to make the top of that like a house peak. Um, it's a filament printer that I have, so it didn't really interpret it very well. Um, I'll have to get in, go back into the 3D model and modify it and just put a sloped uh, roof on it, and that would be more representative of it and easier for the uh, printer to understand the geometry. 
And the next time you're out having a drink, pick up some straws. They'll make some uh, good cargo. Uh, this low relief building here was scratch built, made from card. I just drew out the shape, cut it up, uh, took some corrugated cardboard, used that as a roof, put some down spouts in and painted it. And uh, I, I used plastic, clear plastic for the windows. And I think I painted in some bars, munion bars. And of course, uh, my Glasgow tenement is, is really taking shape. I, I just have to glue it together and get a roof on it and it'll be done. Now, uh, this is what you can do with pink foam. You may have seen this before, but you just draw out the shape with a pencil and you know, you can use a soldering iron, might be a bit dodgy, but or put a, a hair dryer on it and it will expand it, paint it, shade it, and then you're all set. You've got another type of a wall. Uh, the concrete retaining wall there is a piece of foam core. I pulled off the top paper and then painted it in various shades of grey. Added in some flock and I, I, I took some staple, staples and uh, added them in as if the rebar has come away from the concrete. And that low relief factory building there, really simple. Um, uh, I bought these corrugated, hang on a second, no battery. I bought these corrugated papers. Um, I think I got them at Staples or someplace. And that became the front wall. The door is from another kit as is the name Gillies, a, a, a folded up black paper and then mounted it onto hardboard. So I'll find a spot for that. Anyway, I, sorry, uh, trying to find the right spot to look at here. Uh, I'll have to go because my battery's low and uh, I don't know what I don't want it to just die out so I hope you've enjoyed this trip uh, to Patrick Hill station just hang on a second here I've got a, one of these fish vans that are a bit wonky anyway it was just a short visit here to Patrick Hill station and, and thanks for dropping by. Remember to give me the big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And, you know, if any subscribers are out there, thank you again very much for participating uh, over the years and supporting my efforts. Uh, it really means a lot and encourages me. Some people might say, oh, no, Charlie, don't do that. But it does encourage me to do more um, and come up with, new ideas um, I, I made this uh, coal steath whatever it's called um, from coffee sticks and a piece of plastic card and some coal so that, that fitted in perfectly and the, the cutting here was done just from foam, I cut it up, shaped it, scored it, painted it, 
and then added in the various flocking and bushes. So here we go, this is the last run. And this princess will come into the station here where they might change uh, crew as it's obviously in a long journey and we'll bring the A4 to a halt so that passengers can alight here at Partick Hill Station and some other passengers can board the train and continue their journey. Anyway, thanks very much. Uh, we'll see you next time here at Partick Hill Station. Bye for now.